hello fire signs all fire signs you guys so this is my first time doing this you guys i'm doing a reading for all elements here it's going to be one re one video for each element so it's water air fire and earth this video is for fire welcome you guys we're going to jump right into your video so remember to like the video if it does resonate but if it doesn't resonate you guys the link will be in the description box also go over to the instagram page if you want to support the cause as soon as we hit the 5k mark on the instagram we're going to do those personal readings over there live on the gram link is below in the description remember to copy and paste that situation if you want to follow me because there's a lot of scamming going on just know that i will never be in your inbox asking you for a personal read it ain't me if it's happening to you period all right so all right fire signs let's see what's going on in love all right i don't use this deck a lot this is the wizard deck so i might just you know be a little bit slow with this deck but i'm being called to this one so let's see what we have let's see what we have here okay You know what? Since this is my first time doing this video, let me use my favorite deck because this one. Okay, let's use the deck. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's go. What's going on for all fire signs? Thank you, angels. What's going on for all fire signs? Any messages? All fire elements. All right. Thank you. Okay, so the first card I'm seeing is the Hermit. I'm here seeing the Ace of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Cups. All right, in reverse. I feel like this person is playing the victim. All right, somebody here is playing the victim, y'all. Um, for some of you, it might be with a Virgo that is coming out here, even a Cancer, okay? I feel like this person is pushing you to be by yourself and do things on your own because you feel like you, this person is wasting your time honestly there's about there's something about this lie okay this lie that this person is not telling you about i feel like you know it's really putting a damp in this relationship because you really want to change but you don't see the change within this person i feel like when they need something this is when they show up you know is to use you to keep you on balance to take from you and not give back for some of you you're so tired you're tired within this energy within this person okay you are burnt out here but something within this person wants to hold on to something that is like you are just like not sure if you want to continue the relationship for some of you you're coming off married to this person in the four of staff here in reverse there's a conflict in your house for some of you who live together you can't see eye to eye or even stand each other i'm seeing you walking past each other it's very cold you know, this person is playing the victim like you did this to them kind of thing. You know, they offer you this queen of cups, but it's empty. The cup is empty, y'all. The sun is also coming up. Some of you dealing with a Leo. Okay. We have stubborn energy showing up. Taurus as well. All right. There's a lot of tying up loose ends. This is what I'm seeing, you guys. You're tying up loose ends at this point. You're not trying to deal with anything or anyone that is trying to take from you and trying to unbalance your life. I feel like your angel is speaking through you as well, fire signs, that it is time to take back your power. It's time to build your life up again and get exactly what you want. And make sure to like, look, and watch your money and make sure to not give money to people that you cannot you're not, you can't help right now. You can't be safe everything, okay? You can't. You're taking up way too many responsibilities that you are about to fall to the ground. Like you're protecting too many people and keeping things within yourself. Um, this could be your family, your friends, even the person that you're with that is just really just harming you, not saving you. You understand? There's a lot of selfishness around you with this person that I'm seeing in your energy, okay? Someone that doesn't want to give you any money or someone that doesn't want to give you any time. I'm feeling this person might be seeing somebody else with this four of pentacles being in reverse. There's a choice that this person needs to make in the two of swords here. All right. 
and they're finally deciding to make this choice. There's some kind of peace that they want to make because before they couldn't see, they couldn't see what was going on. They were blinded. They were growing apart here, you know, like there is no, um, what do you call it? Um, common see in this relationship. You guys don't have anything in common anymore. It's like you're growing this way. They're growing that way. Like the plans that you guys had for yourself back then, it's not meaningful today in today's world for some reason. I feel like you're making a decision to be at peace with this and tying up this loose end with this person because it's just, I'm seeing problems after problems after problems. Then we have the five of swords here, a lot of deceit and ending a marriage or ending a relationship with this high from being here, okay? I'm seeing very much codependency as well. Like somebody is codependent. Somebody is being told what to do. This is what I'm hearing. And not making a decision within themselves on their, by themselves alone. It's like this is being pushed, okay? Within their ears, Okay, um, like they're telling you, telling them something to enforce this decision. And I feel like if this is you by your size, you need to make sure that you're making a decision for yourself. Okay, not for anybody else. No matter what people tell you, make sure to get the facts. Okay, all right, so we have the two of wands here. So you're at a crossroads. Um, in your life. So what's this about? It's about the lies and betrayals, okay, that this person has given to you or placed into your life. But at the end of the day, I'm seeing justice on your side. So this person is going to choose you, even though you have the Ace of Swords in the front, like in the beginning of the read, the Ace of Swords right there in reverse. At the end of it all, you do have the justice. So even though this person isn't going to change their ways, okay? This person is going to choose to be with you, okay? So whatever this is, this person might just um, do this again, all right? But they're going to choose to be with you, let you know what's going on, be honest with you, give you everything that you need to move forward, all right? I feel like this person is very passionate about you. They really find you attractive and they feel like they want it to be successful, even though I'm seeing you in separation here in the lovers in reverse. If you guys are not in communication, just know that this person is going to call you really soon, okay? I feel like this person is just, it, their mind is on you. Every time I see that lover, you're going to get a call or a text pretty soon. But there is this crossroads that you need to choose for yourself, whether or not you are going to go this way or that way, okay? You're going to move in, in the future or you're going to continue to stay into this past with a seven of swords here, this page of swords, this young energy, this immature energy that is not ready for anything real. This is what I'm seeing. This person is not ready for anything real. Some of you could be dating a Gemini, which is really coming up here in the lovers. You got Libra energy. I'm talking about major cards. I'm not talking about the, you know, the regular cards. I'm talking about major. So I'm getting Libra energy. I'm getting Gemini energy right here. I'm getting um, Taurus energy. I'm getting the Leo energy right here. Okay, for those of you, this is the person that you're with. Virgo energy coming out on the top. You know, this is what I'm seeing for you. This is who you're dealing with. You know, this person is really kind of cold. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really kind of cold, really young for the streets, all loud and full of action and want to have fun. This person doesn't want to, you know, give you what you want. But at the back of the deck, what you don't see is investment. Like you're investing yourself into, you know, your money, your work. You're planting seeds. This is what I'm seeing for your future, okay? This is the kind of vibe that I was getting that you were planting for the future, for your um your legacy. But you're going to have to fight for it because I'm seeing, seeing like this energy is not really going anywhere. Someone is just, you're planning for the future. This person is not. They're just spending money, having fun. Then we have the death card here. We have Scorpio vibes coming out here, Okay. For those of you who are with a Scorpio, this is going to end and a new beginning will begin again. OK, I feel like, you know, you're going to be in a feeling where you want a new beginning, like you want to start up again, like you want to move on. You want something real. You want something new. All right. So let's see what we have with the energy deck. 
for fire signs, please. What messages do you have for us for the fire signs? Thank you, angels. Messages for fire signs. Ooh, value to door. Look at that. Door to value. Oh my goodness. Money is coming in. For some of you guys, like I was like seeing investment. You see what I'm saying? The angels are saying that you are going to get more money. Your job, your career, you're moving up in the world. This is what I'm hearing. Be careful who you tell about this. I, my thing is, don't tell nobody, fire signs. Don't tell nobody about your money because the more you tell, the more people know about your money, you're going to see that your, your door is going to be knocking, knocking, asking for help, asking for loans. No, okay? Angels of strength is coming back. So this is for Leos who feel like you are at your, like you are really just low in your life. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. You feel like you can't, you know, fix this, uh, this conflict going on in your house with your person. Just know that your angel is with you. The angel of strength. This is your energy. Just know that you are being taken care of. You are being highly protected. Anybody who has Leo in their chart, just know that that message is for you. Okay. Tell me more. You're going to take a journey. They want you to start journaling or start writing things down. Start telling your story, sharing your story. Okay. This is like, I'm getting number 31, 50, and 21. I'm seeing you on a trip. Okay. Door to romance. There's going to be new love coming into your life. Do you see this or it's just me? There is money coming in, love coming in, trips coming in. The angels are saying that you are good to go. Don't worry. Stop worrying. Stop signing documents for people that are not having your back. Number six, contracts. Make sure you read everything that anybody give you to put your initials on. I'm hearing scamming, okay? Somebody's trying to scam you through your funds. Money is coming through. Make sure you keep that mouth. Y'all find your sign love to talk about y'all money. Listen, talk about and bragging what y'all got. Stop bragging what you got. Okay? You're going to meet a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Okay? Very emotional sign. This person is going to have that in their chart. They're going to have their um, wear their heart on their sleeves. Okay? For those of you, I'm not, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You're taking a journey, y'all. You're trying to find yourself. You're going to be on a trip very soon on, by yourself. I don't know if it's driving to another state, maybe going to another country, but you're going to be MIA very, very soon. But you're going to meet a Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy, very emotional person, you know, very down to earth, you know, just their focus is going to be on you. And I feel like that's something that you like, you know, you like when somebody focuses on you and not with all a lot of other energies. But this is what I have for you, fire signs. I hope it gave you some kind of enlightenment, some kind of clarity. If it did, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.